got powerlifting on the side and then we are training for a try and um, what else am I doing? Oh, playing AFL too. Hi, come. <laughs> she always likes to chill with me while I journal. I think she finds it very zen. And that's it. That's so good. Usually I go way earlier, but I slept in today because obviously birthday was yesterday. Anywhere to mount you guys in my car. In my old Yaris, I used to have like a little thing to mount you guys. Now I don't. I haven't shown you guys my car. This is her. I named her Ari. Ariana Grande. And for context, the reason why was because Ariana Grande was the artist that I would listen to. Oh, why am I zooming? Ariana Grande was the artist that I would listen to when I was like brand new in business and I was driving my beat up to Yaris around. I would play Just Like Magic on repeat. I kid you not, like maybe 10 times a day. And that song talks about how like you can create the life you want, you can manifest anything you want. And so I'll play it all the time. And then I would drive my Yaris pretending like I had a sunroof. I would just sit there, lean back, take a deep breath in and I would imagine like smelling leather and just driving like a really like nice, white, sporty, luxurious sports car. And I would look up at my non sunroof and pretend there was a sun. I've come a long way and this is Ari like I'll show you guys how she looks in the daytime, but she's gorgeous. I'm gonna go to the gym now. Hi! Hi. This is Holly. I'm Holly. I <laughs> gym with Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so awkward? I'm Jung. I also gym with Nicole. <laughs> okay, they have more personality than that. We're gonna get some coffee at coffee. the best coffee spot. Good the fella. Good fella. Good fella. How did your training go? Oh. And what are you training towards? <laughs> I'm training towards three things at the moment. We've got powerlifting on the side, and then we are training for a try. And um, what else am I doing? Oh, playing AFL too. Damn. Training was not that great. I failed my deadlift, but <laughs> I learned from it, and I'm gonna go again on Saturday. So happy days. But it's a good day today. So, so as you can tell, she's the most active <laughs> of all. That is interesting. <laughs> I'm just doing powerlifting, <laughs> and training was good. We finished half a session. Coffee is more important. No, my baby. One of my favorite things is coming home and seeing meatball. Look at these tricks, guys. Ah, sit. Sit. Shake a paw. <laughs> she can't see. Down. Good girl, belly rub. Yes, yes, baby. I love you. I love you. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You want breakfast? Wow. Wow. I'm still low-key getting used to this whole vlogging situation and I feel like, I mean, tell me what you think, but when you hang out with friends, would you like tell them I'm gonna be vlogging or do you ask them? You see the polite thing is to ask them ahead of time, like is it okay if I vlog today or is it okay for, for me to feature you or just ask permission. So I think I'm still figuring that out. I was just having that thought that it does sometimes um, make people uncomfortable to have a camera out so I know that's one of the main reasons why vlogging can be really challenging for people but at the same time I also like the idea of maybe just vlogging my world you know and not necessarily having to take you all on social hangouts and stuff because for me I like being present anyways I got my coffee from Goodfella this is like one of the best coffee places in the hills I got the large latte today and I feel like today my energy is up. I think I really needed yesterday's um, little spin out in order to feel really abundant and to feel like I can just step into today with more clarity. I'm glad that I didn't like try to force myself to do anything like work or anything like that. So today I feel energized and I believe it's because of that grace that I gave myself. So anyway, I'm gonna feed meatball and then I'm gonna get stuck into some work and then I have some calls tonight. This is so ugly. 
I didn't show you guys, but yesterday Jose got me two presents. I actually have always wanted one, and especially for my trip, I wanted a power bank that could charge my laptop because my laptop is dying very quickly. And this was so unexpected. I'm not a shoe person, but I love my all white shoes. And so I opened these and they're gorgeous. I already wore them yesterday. So pretty and so me. Like if I was a shoe, it would be anything in all white. I love it. So dropped off some sugar-free, um, what is this, energy drink? This is the Inspired brand. I've tried their proteins before, never tried their sugar-free stuff. So curious to try this. Gonna do some journaling. We love a morning coffee while we journal, and I always like to time lapse just for content, you know? That works. That could work. Okay, I got my phone down there. I'm gonna time lapse while I journal. Meatball, hi, come. <laughs> she always likes to chill with me while I journal. I think she finds it very zen. A lot of people ask me like what do I journal about like there's so many things but maybe I'll create a journaling guide for you guys one day because I feel like journaling I've done so freely my whole life and it has been the source of all this clarity and it's been the source of a lot of things for me so if I can teach anybody to journal I'm gonna do it it's 12 o'clock and I'm only just having breakfast Whenever I have coffee, I feel like I end up fasting unintentionally. We're gonna make a little scrambled egg chicken sandwich situation. I've been really feeling the chicken and cheese vibe, so we're just gonna keep going with it. So I've got my scrambled egg, and we're just gonna pop that in the pan. Oh crap! I was just gonna put the chicken in first. I'm gonna weigh out some more chicken. I'm gonna put my chicken in. It's about 85 grams. And we're gonna put some garlic salt. We love garlic salt. That's actually really flavored, this one. Definitely recommend. We're just gonna fold our egg. I'm gonna have some bread with it. Butter it and toast it on the pan because I cannot be bothered with the um sandwich press so we're just gonna butter it we're probably gonna add some cottage cheese to this so that i can get more protein in cottage cheese is such a good protein source put that on our plate i'm literally gonna chuck this on the pan and just like squish it down we'll press it on this is your lazy girl lunch got my cottage cheese I like to put a hundred because it's just a nice round number and it's a lot of protein in one. This is what a hundred looks like. Look at that volume. I'll put the top and that's it. That's so good. Guys, get on this. I have my final coaching call of the day. I am actually pretty tired. Like I don't usually take calls in the evening but for the next few weeks i'm going to be just because we working hard before we leave so it's me trying to get myself composed got my little ow hit my elbow got my little setup here and this is me just about to hop on my zoom meeting i don't know why the quality is like so bad on this camera i've got boxes everywhere things half packed but we gotta show up where are we going um, to India. We're going to <laughs> India down. So we just came from floor class and we're gonna eat some ice cream, maybe food, <gasps> non bread, birthday things. I'm at the gym again for the second time today. Oh, by the way, this is Sonia. Hi, I'm a primary school teacher. Been yes. teaching for five years. The last time you would have seen her was what, when we were in high school? <laughs> it's been a long time, my friend. The beautiful Sonia has taken us to a Indian. what part of India? The South Indian. South Indian cuisine. She has ordered us. It's called a papri chaat. Papri chaat. Papri chaat. I'm probably not even saying it right. <laughs> okay, teach us how to eat this. Um, with a spoon. <laughs> She's like with a spoon, you idiot. It's literally not that complicated. Do I just? Oh, it's crunchy. Do I just get everything? Yeah. Take a bit of everything. Always 
wondered what these were, so I'm probably trying it. <laughs> I've never had this either. So. Oh, okay, you can try this one. So the stuffing's in the middle. Oh, there's stuffing. It's not empty. Yeah, I'll okay. try from here. So you gotta take a piece. We're gonna take a million years to finish this. <laughs> and then you dip it in whatever sauce you want. What's what? Tell us what. Um, these are like different chutneys. So that I'm guessing that's like. That's a sweet one or something? Um, this is a lentil, lentil. Oh, lentil. And then that's that's coconut. And mm -hmm. I think this is maybe tomato or garlic. Mm -hmm. So you can dip in both. Tell us what you think. <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. It's actually really nice. This is our little coffee situation. Tell me, like, how would your teaching be better when your clients are online and you're making, like, more money than you ever thought you could? I think the quality of my teaching would improve because I'm not driving from house to house in between and I'm sort of just, I'm, I can be situated in one place. One call down and another one to go. Miki, what you doing? Look at how she's sitting. She's like half in her crate and half out. Why are you so weird? Why are you so weird, my baby? Just got back from the shops. Again, I, I'm conflicted as to where to put this camera. I got a boost, my birthday boost, and then I went and got some eggs and a present for my client who I'm meeting up with next week. She's having a lunch slash mentorship experience with me. It's a dining slash mentorship hybrid experience I've created. And so I got her a little gift. Um, and yeah, I also purchased this today. It's a shirt design and made by one of my friends at the gym who's also a PT who's got his own brand. So. It is Saturday and I am packing. I just fed meatball. I'm starting to pack up everything. I have a one full week until I'm fully moved out of this place. Actually realizing that I have a lot to pack away and move. We have my mom's van that we're going to take tomorrow. Today's plan is to clean and pack everything. I mean most of it is like half packed. I think the hardest part is just deciding am I going to bring this with me to Asia for three months? Am I going to just put it in storage or am I going to bring it with me um, when I go to Byron Bay because I've got a one week long Byron Bay trip that I'm hosting for my business clients. So there's a few places and I think the hardest part is just deciding like what goes where. It's a lot. It's a lot. I think the last thing I'm going to pack is my clothes because I actually don't have that many clothes. Just put them in storage boxes in my car so that when my Asia trip comes around, which is still a month away, I can just pick and choose and I don't need to dig up the old boxes. That's my strategy. It's a very interesting time. <laughs> we are cleaning the bathroom today. This part about my apartment, that is my skylight. And let me show you how it works. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so it doesn't um, open, like the glass doesn't open, but it brings in all the light. And at night you can see the moon coming through and you can sort of stargaze as well from up here, but I love it. It was one of the reasons why I got this apartment. It's so bittersweet that I am leaving this place because I just remember moving in and it was a whole new chapter of life and business at the time. This used to be my office before my sister moved in and yeah, it's just very bittersweet now that I'm sort of packing up and getting ready to up and leave, you know? I have inspections happening in the next like five minutes. People are going to come and look at the apartment because obviously the landlord wants to sell it. I'm thinking of going downstairs in like the patio area and just doing some work there. I've got to do some finances and do my bass prep for the quarter because my company has to do that and then I might take me all down with me. I just feel like it's a bit weird if people are here and I'm here. Bottled water is very abundant and when out and about on the road or during a tour try to keep some on you. Alcohol in Indonesia is expensive. Okay, the inspection has just finished. I was just working downstairs for a little bit and I was just having a little moment like realizing that this is actually so huge. Like maybe five people that were at the inspection. I had passed them in the hallway and they were asking me, so where are you going? You know, just like friendly, casual conversation. And as I heard myself say, like I'm moving to Asia for three months and seeing their reactions of like, wow, like so impressed. I can't believe you're doing that. That's amazing. I was like, holy crap, this is my life. Like this is my life. I literally 
literally have the location freedom to be like, I'm gonna travel, I'm just gonna do whatever the heck I want. And it's so crazy to me because I just don't understand how only three years of building this business has led to this. Like, it's so nuts to me. And I just, I just wanna honor myself right now and acknowledge just this is a big deal. Like, this is not a small feat. The fact that I've created this kind of life for myself is bonkers. <laughs> Sometimes I just catch Meatball like waiting at the door for nothing and no one. <laughs> so funny. Meatball. Meatball. Hi, baby. Say hello to your friend. Wow, it's you. Wow, it's you. Okay, she doesn't actually like cameras, so not surprised. Look, she just turned her body away from me and faced her butt. But how cute is the little chicken egg? And you're gonna wanna search up Ultra Key. And you're gonna drag that. I'm just watching some YouTube tutorial slash learning videos so I can self educate, and I'm just doing my finances for the month. Today's just been a really slow, sluggish day, so we're just keeping it chill. We're currently baking some brownies and watching the Unshakable replay. It's a Tony Robbins event. This man. I admire him so much. It's our brownies in the making. Doing a meeting and I'm just on the floor because I'm comfortable here and my laptop's charging. My brain's just like a little bit everywhere because I haven't done much today. I feel like anytime I don't exercise or do any intense physical activity, my body just like wants to do nothing. It's such a weird thing. After this, I'm gonna be seeing my mom and then I've got like my birthday thing tonight. I'm just gonna go dancing. I'm looking I in at you. That is a positive response. NLP training while I'm packing the kitchen. Paying attention to the focused and deep open movements that we make, the tone of voice, they can make their gestures. We can look at all these different areas. You will She loves drinking out of the tap whenever she goes on a walk. Oh, there you go. Look at her face. Look good. So good, isn't it, Lucy? You're so thirsty. You're so thirsty, Mickey. Wow. Are you finished? Got my night bag, my work bag, and I think that's all. So we're just chilling here. Meatball's behind me. We have no furniture. So we're just chilling on the floor. We're gonna try to nap. You can't run around. Hmm? You can't run around. As of today, I'm going to be living from my car. I'm just so bittersweet. I don't even know how to describe it. I just wanted to document this.